when I'm at my desk, if I had the most amazing lecture today, how do I turn that and how effectively am I turning that into my knowledge, my skills? And maybe you didn't have an amazing lecture today. How do you bridge that gap? It's unlikely that every lecture you have, every topic you have, you're going to have amazing content that just, you know, that you understand first time, every time. Our personality dictates how we behave when struggles come along. When things are smooth and easy, this is fine. It is easy for me to be patient when I'm driving in traffic and nobody's cutting me off and I'm the only person on the road. It is a lot more difficult to be patient when there's a lot of traffic on the road, I'm late for something and somebody cuts me off. Am I still patient? It's a little more difficult to be patient. Now I need to start thinking about tools to develop patience, to manage my patience, to manage the way I behave so that I can stop screaming at people and raising my blood pressure and feeling all frustrated. It is easy to be who we want to be when things are going smoothly. But when you start struggling with your studying, your personality and those skills and who you are naturally inclined to will dictate how you behave. Some people, when they hit a struggle, will disengage and go, I, I just, I don't want to. I don't have the mental energy to do it. I don't want to. I want to stick with what I know. Other people will rush towards that struggle. This is interesting. I want to pull it apart. This is new. This is challenging. This is exciting. I don't want to do stuff that I've done before. That's boring. I don't want to do something that I know I can do. That's boring. I want to do something new. These are two different personality styles. But there's no question that when presented with something new that might be challenging, the one personality style is more likely to draw back and the other personality style is more likely to step forward. These both have pros and cons, obviously. Someone who runs towards new things and someone who runs towards stuff that's exciting and challenging and new is less likely to be able to finish projects that they've started because they get bored. Whereas someone who prefers staying with what they know, who doesn't really like new challenges, they're more likely to specialize, to get really good at what they do because they're happy to do it again and again and hone those skills and master those skills. And they're more likely to finish jobs because once they've mastered something and once they know what's going on, they're still happy to keep going. So there's pros and cons to every personality type. The starting point is to be aware of them. Who am I? How do I behave? How do I think? How do I feel? And how does it impact my studying?